And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith once again, and today we're going to have a real quick tutorial and slight demonstration on G Sync working on non G Sync panels. So, the monitor that I'm using is the Nixius Edge 27, it's the 1440p 144Hz panel, so it has an adaptive sync range of 30 to 144, or free sync rather, if you would rather use that nomenclature. But as of today, on January 15th, 2018, NVIDIA launched their game ready Wickle drivers, the 14 or 417.71 Wickle drivers, allowing you to enable this. So, along and short of it, we're going to show you how to enable it real quick. So, you go to the NVIDIA control panel there. Now, once you've got it up, you can see here this is 417.71, and I'm using the GeForce RTX 2080 in the system right now. And what you want to do is go down under the options over here, you're going to go to set up G Sync. It's the same tab that it's always been. Click that. Now, this is where it is by default. I've made some changes so I can restore defaults if I wanted to, but it's going to say one, apply the following changes. It's got the checkbox for enable G Sync or G Sync compatible, enable for full screen or windowed in full screen. So I'm going to leave it for window or for full screen mode. And the display is the Nixius Edge 27. And now here is the op where it's going to have like the warnings. So it gives me the option to enable settings for selected display model. Selected display is not validated as G-Sync compatible. And you can click down here to set up multiple display pages. And right down here, it says you a little bit more details. Um, let's see here. So all you gotta do is click this little box here, hit apply, and the screen is gonna flicker, and that's normal. So there you go, it says uh, enabled. Now one of the things about a monitor like Nixius makes, all of their monitors in the OSD will actually show you the current real-time frame rate, or not frame rate, but refresh rate rather. And so we're gonna back out of this image and we're gonna go to an off screen using my video camera and we're gonna see if it's, well, if it's variable. All right, guys, so I've got Battlefield 5 pulled up. I'm in the menu right now, but it is 1440p, high settings. Uh, DXR is on, so it, so ray tracing is turned on. So if the frame rate seems a little low, <laughs> that, that would be why. So 1440p, Nixius Edge 27, one of my favorite panels that I've had come across my desk is the reason it's still sitting on my desk. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the menu here to turn it on, and you can see here it is variable. So it is moving around, and... It is, oh my goodness, this is, this is great. This is great. Um, overdrive, wow. Um, problem is, let me see if I can move the monitor around. So if, I'm going to die a lot here. So at this angle, I don't know if it's going to capture it on there, but there's no overdrive issues around the clouds. So it's, very, it's very smooth. The contrast is not changing. So um, I, I, I don't have the way to test 100% fully on all of the ways that they test over at NVIDIA, but I can guarantee you or I can confirm that it is functional and it is gorgeous and I'm not seeing any flickering or any pop. The Wow, this is good. This is a good experience. I guess I'm gonna have to finally come off my 980 Ti on my personal system. So guys, um, I tell you what, down in the comment section, if you've got an NVIDIA GPU and you've got a an adaptive sync panel, so FreeSync or otherwise, let me know which one you're using, what GPU you're using, and how well it's working for you, because I can tell you what, this right here, in just this very short moment, I can tell you it's 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 good. This is this is a very welcome addition, um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. What do you think about them finally doing this? Do you think do you think it's good for everyone? Do you think they caved? Do you think that um, are you just glad to see it? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. It's been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.